Hi, welcome to the Native Wild Man channel, your host, Sean Catfish Wilson. And today I am going to show you how to make one of these things. It's a stone holder to put your whetstone on. And then I've got another mat here. Same stuff put on the bottom so this doesn't move around but basically something to keep your stone in place when you're trying to sharpen first off what you want to do is want to get the approximate width and length then what I like to do is I like to find that inside ridge. Go along that inside ridge. Cut it. Okay. Take and cut it out with a pair of scissors. Then let's cut that edge there. Cut that right there. So a little lip in here take and cut around that oops not pretty but it doesn't have to be pretty Okay, you repeat the process. Make sure you got everything cut out level. Make sure you got all the excess debris off of it. Put that in there. Make sure everything fits good. As you see, there you go, it's fitting in there pretty good. I'm going to take this, we'll set this upside down next to it. And then we'll take this Gorilla Glue, which always seems to want to dry up there. Got the safety pin. the safety pin out of the way you 
Yeah, I think this bottle of Gorilla Glue's about seen its better days. Come on. Ah. All right, Let's see if I can't find that hole again. Shove the safety pin back in there. Take this handy dandy thing. Kinda. Smooth out this Gorilla Glue the best possible that you can. Looks I need a wee bit more. You want to make sure you get the edges the best you can. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just got to be enough to hold this mat on. Take it, add a little bit of water to it. Then after you add the water to it, take it. Flatten this thing on here. And then what I like to do is put some pressure on it, make sure I spread these things out good. Then once you have that done, set something on it kind of heavy, which I don't have enough stuff right here right now with me to set enough on it. I have to go grab something later. But yeah, you set stuff on it, you let it dry um, for... A few hours, four hours, over 24 hours is best. So I will let this dry out overnight and it'll end up like this. Stuck on here permanently. And then I can throw a stone on here. And it will keep it still. And then uh, I might have maybe one more use from it. And then it's like that. 
it will pretty much stay where you need it considering you don't use a lot of pressure on the sharpening stone so it will hold it the place of the stone will hold it and where you want it to so there you go a DIY DIY a stone holder for sharpening for wet stones I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you found this little hint helpful if you want to use water stones. This is a cheap, easy way to make a stone holder, get it right, raise it up a little bit so you don't have to worry about knocking on stuff. I mean, this is high enough alone. And... This one's high enough alone by itself, but I made this so you guys can see how it's done. Super simple. Peace and long life.